Hello and welcome to the next video of our channel, Practical Hope. In this video, we are going to plot Maxwell speed distribution function at different temperatures. The distribution function for speed of particles in an ideal gas at uh, temperature capital T is given by this expression. Here, m is the mass of uh, gas molecules, k is the Boltzmann constant, T is the absolute temperature, V represents the speed of gas molecules. Let A equal to M by 2KT. So the distribution function will look like this. If we plot the distribution function against speed, the curve looks like this. Initially, it increases and uh, after a certain point, the value of distribution function decreases. The speed at which a distribution function is maximum is called uh, most probable speed. The expression for uh, most probable speed is given by Vmp equal to square root of 2kt by m. We can also calculate average speed and root mean square speed. The expression for average speed is this square root of 8kt by pi m or it can also be calculated from most probable speed like this. The expression for root mean square speed is square root of 3kt by m. Along with the plotting of the distribution function, we are also going to evaluate most probable speed, average speed and root mean square speed. So let's move on to the programming. This is the sign outs window. First uh, give a suitable title. CLC is to clear the console, clear is to clear the variables of the workspace and uh, CLF will uh, clear or reset the graphic window to default values. Then we have to define the values of constants. Here k is the Boltzmann constant, capital N is the Avogadro number and 3.14 is the value of pi. Then we have to define the range of speed in which we are going to evaluate the distribution function. Here we are varying speed from 0 to 2000 meter per second. Next we will define the range of temperature. So we are going to plot the distribution function for three different temperatures, 300, 600 and 900 Kelvin. First we have to enter the name of the gas as input. Let it be defined by a string name. Then uh, capital M is the input variable which will be the molar mass of particular gas in grams per mole. Capital M is the molar mass, so we have to convert it into molecular weight in kg using this expression. We have to define a for loop which will vary from 1 to length of temperature. So we are going to evaluate the distribution function for different values of temperature. First define the constant A equal to M by 2kT as discussed earlier. Next we have to define another for loop which will vary from 1 to length of v. Here we are going to vary the values of the speed. Now we'll write the expression for Maxwell speed distribution function as shown in the figure. The rows of f matrix will have the values of distribution function at different different temperatures. Now we can plot the distribution function set line width to 5 select x and y labels with font size 5 we can also set suitable legend string capital T will display all the values of temperature corresponding to the respective plots. We can also give a suitable title Maxwell speed distribution function for string bracket name with font size of 5. This uh, string bracket name will write the name of the particular uh, gas to be considered on the title of every curve. Now run the program enter the name of gas say oxygen molar mass uh, 32 approximately this is the plot of uh, maxwell uh, speed distribution function for oxygen at uh, three different temperatures 300 600 and 900 kelvin
Now, as discussed earlier, we have to evaluate the values of uh, most probable speed, average speed, and RMS speed also. So, let's write the expression for them. This max function will evaluate the maximum value of a particular row of F matrix along with the index of maximum value. So here Q is the index at which we have the maximum value of speed distribution function. So we can calculate the value of most probable speed using index Q. Now once we have the value of most probable speed, we can uh, evaluate the average speed and root mean square speed as shown in the figure. So let's uh, display these uh, three different speed at different temperatures give a suitable uh, heading to the displayed values of speed run the program enter the name of gas say oxygen molar mass approximately 32 so these are the values of uh, most probable speed average speed and root mean square speed at different temperatures 300 600 and 900 kelvin now this program will plot the maxwell speed distribution function for a particular gas we can also plot the distribution function for different gases for this first we have to define a input variable n which will have the information about the number of gases to be considered next we have to define another for loop which will run from 1 to n n is the number of gases now delete this end and write it at the end of the program so that the previous two loops of uh, temperature and velocity comes under this loop since uh, string name will have the name of different gases now so write the index r since we have to plot distribution function for different gases so we'll use the function subplot n comma 1 comma r n represents the number of rows 1 number of column and are the position of the particular plot on the graphical window give the index to string name at line 25 also we forgot to write index to this uh, string input name run the program again enter the number of gases to be considered say 3 name of first gas oxygen molar mass 32 these are the values of different speed at different temperature second gas say nitrogen molar mass uh, approximately 28 finally third gas neon with the molar mass 20 so these are the values of most probable average and root mean square speed at different temperature these are the final curves now two things we can note from here one, if we consider speed distribution function for a particular gas, with increase in temperature, the curve shifts towards higher values of speed. So, most probable speed, average speed and root mean square speed will increase with increase in temperature. Secondly, if we consider the distribution function for uh, different gases at a particular temperature, we can see that the curve shifts towards uh, higher values of speed for molecules of lower molecular weight this is the final program if you like the video share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet